it's to reach down to the poor and the indigent and giving hope. South Africa is the country of the world that has the dubious distinction of having the most HIV and AIDS cases in the world. In fact, one third of all the HIV and AIDS cases in the world live in South Africa. Well, Living Hope seeks to spread the good news of our Lord Jesus Christ. It, uh, it seeks to bring the love and the compassion to the folk who are suffering from chronic illnesses and HIV and AIDS specifically. In our area, the face of AIDS is irrevocably linked to poverty. Living Grace provides for the basic um, things for people who are homeless and um, the, the destitute. Uh, basic things like two uh, warm meals a day. In the morning they have a cup of coffee and some, some bread or something, some nourishment. And then at lunchtime there's a cooked meal for them as well. And out of that uh, opportunity is given for them to seek other help be it substance abuse problem, um, be it a uh, homeless problem, accommodation, be it uh, employment problem, whatever those issues are that are pertain to the person themselves. The Ministry of Living Grace is um, to be able to serve the Lord Jesus and bring them to the people because without the Lord Jesus nothing else will help them to, to change their lives. Living Hope has now grown to the point where we can establish new departments. And so we've established Living Way, which is a job creation and a work empowerment ministry seeking to provide hope in the form of real work to people in the area. Because of the history, the political history of their country, most of the people with whom uh, we work and who live with HIV and AIDS are highly unskilled people. Because poverty if we define it in terms of a monetary value, it's, it doesn't work because it's not about that, it's about opportunity, it's about dreams, it's about going much further than where they're sitting right now, sitting at home with nothing to do. It's not only about a job, it's about growth and having a, a dream and a goal for their lives. Sure we can give them food and sure we give them a glass of cold water or a cup of milk, but if we can teach them how to be self-sustaining, and then let them know that as they make these baby steps from poverty into self-sustainability, that Jesus' power and the power of the Holy Spirit is there with them. I believe that is our message. No longer do people become HIV positive and know that within a few weeks or months they're going to die. But there's hope. God is. He came down to earth to save us from the perishing world. Those who believe in him shall have an everlasting life. The UN Director of AIDS has called HIV and AIDS the greatest catastrophe of human history. If it is the greatest catastrophe of human history, it follows that this is the greatest opportunity that we've ever had.